Bon après-midi. <rire> Ça reste après-midi. Bon après-midi. <rire> Or, how do you say it? Um, guten, guten Tag. That's good afternoon, is it? Bon après-midi. <laughs> it just sounds funny. I'm sorry. So it's very rare I do more than one video a day. I want to do a quick one. I was out. Uh, I stepped outside to after lunch and to do more more yad work. My yad, uh, Western Massachusetts, um, and. Um, I, I always have the Lord Jesus Christ with me all day long. When you have his Holy Spirit, he dwells in your vessel. He's with you. So I, I, I talk with him all the time. I don't wait till the end of the day. I just, I talk to him. I don't hear an audible voice. Never have. That would creep me out. You know, I would think that that was demonic. Um... But I know he hears me, and when I'm speaking, I work things out, and the Lord helps me navigate through conversations. So, um, yes, yeah, so I was walking outside, and a young girl who lives at the end of the road was walking her dog and saw me and heard me, you know, clearly talking to myself. <laughs> and that happens to me all the time. <laughs> You know, I know I'm talking with the Lord, but obviously it looks like I'm talking to myself. And I say the craziest stuff, and when it comes, I'm sure out of context it sounds bizarre. But I don't care. I really don't care. I'm just the crazy neighbor <clears throat> who loves the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, what I want to say. Okay, so I want to make a really good point. And this is not an excuse to make mistakes. Like it's one thing to um, grow and learn, you know, fall short, make mistakes. And it's another to just lean on that. Like, oh, I'm not perfect. I'm just going to, I'm going to, you know, fall short all the time. And lean on that as an excuse. It's one thing to learn and grow. It's another thing to use it as an excuse. Okay. Um, I see a lot of conflict in the Christian community where Christians attacking other Christians, calling them false prophets. And in, in most cases, it's true. They are false prophets because they're not speaking the truth. A prophet, the, the pro, all a prophet is is someone who speaks truth, a messenger of truth. That's all a prophet is. I don't know why people place it at such a high standard. Um, it's just a messenger of truth. That's it. It's like all glory to the Lord. The Lord is the one giving them that truth they're just a mouthpiece of truth that's all a prophet is a mouthpiece of truth can't take any credit for that <laughs> okay so the point i wanted to make really quick is prophets will make mistakes okay you're not going to hear this from any other channel probably but let me say this again. Prophets will make mistakes. Why? Because you are human. Give me one human, prophet or no prophet, that doesn't make a mistake. Okay? Even the prophets in his word made mistakes. Okay? I'll just use Jonah as an example. Sorry, Jonah, that I'm picking on you. <laughs> Jonah did not want to do the Lord God's will. He jumped ship and went the opposite way. Was that not a mistake that he made? You know, just because the mistakes weren't logged in his word, each person that's walked with the Lord has made mistakes. 
It's like, how are you going to grow and learn? You know, it's like no one on this earth is perfect. No one. Okay, this doesn't give you an excuse to run amok. Okay, <clears throat> I'm just saying that, you know, did the person who made the mistake repent and stopped doing something? Did they learn from their mistake? Again, a pro all a prophet is is a messenger of truth. That's it. People who put prophets at a high, like on a pedestal, don't do it. That's a man. Man is not perfect, okay? And we're not to follow man. We're to follow truth. Are you following the truth that comes out of their mouth? Or are you following that person? We're not to follow man, okay? We're to follow the Lord Jesus Christ. The gate is narrow for a reason. So again, you probably won't see anyone say, prophets make mistakes. So I find it interesting that Someone will jump to conclusions, um, be impulsive with their opinions, uh, block people, whatever, um, because of something that they said that wasn't true. Now, that person's walk is their walk. And at the end of the day, the only person they have to answer to, and I, I don't like that I just called him a person. The only one they have to answer to is the Lord Jesus Christ. They don't need to answer to you. They don't need to answer to anybody else. They don't have to come up with a ton of scriptures. It's their walk, you know, and again, it's like I'm not judging other people's walk and you shouldn't either. You shouldn't either. It's like people are paying so much attention to other people's business that they don't see their own mistakes. They're like they're like projecting. And that's what's called that's what's called a hypocrite. You're projecting and pointing out every little thing. Do you want the Lord to point out every little mistake you've ever made in your walk with him? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I always go to the Lord every single day sometimes a handful of times a day and say you know what father sorry that I crossed the line sorry that I fell short and I don't mean just apologize with my mouth he knows my heart he knows that you know, this is a spiritual warfare and maybe someone got under my skin. Doesn't happen very often and usually I vent and just keep it between me and the Lord. But he knows. He knows. So this whole, you know, people picking apart saying false prophet, false prophet. It's like, okay, maybe it is some, but maybe it's someone who is a messenger of truth that has this Holy Spirit that's made mistakes. <laughs> Do you think Paul didn't make mistakes? Do you think John the Baptist didn't make mistakes? Come on. It's like, give me a break. Okay, people who are just like, you know, you have to be A, B, C, D, all the way through Z. And it's like, you know, just be very careful because you can't take back the things you say and do. You can repent from them, truly repent from them and don't continue to do it. But because people can't see past their own face and they can't, they overlook their shortcomings, but they like to point out everybody else's, 
you're in trouble. And if you want the Lord to pick you apart the way you pick people apart, you know, then continue on the path that you're on. But you can learn. You can learn. You can take this seed directly to the Lord and work out your salvation. Work it out. It's a daily walk. Every step you take, you work out between you and the Lord. And that's what people aren't, people aren't focused on their own walk. They're focused on everybody else's. And it's the Antichrist spirit that's the accuser. Okay? So it's like test all spirits. It is the Antichrist spirit speaking through you that's the accuser. Okay? Because if you were truly walking with the Lord, you would just be like, their walk is their walk. That's between them and the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm going to mind my walk. I do these videos to share my testimony that people pick apart. It's fine, but that's your testimony now. Your testimony is picking apart other people. And I'm going to tell you what, I don't want to be in your shoes. So I suggest you humble yourself and be a little wiser and acknowledge that what mistakes have I made and what can I turn away from? And it does bring you closer to the Lord. When you humble yourself, it's not easy to do, but it makes you closer to the Lord, admitting that I don't have any idea what I'm doing. <laughs> help! <laughs> and the Lord will help you. If you can humble yourself, okay? I love you. I hope I planted a good seed and God bless.